So while we're waiting for the coronation to begin, oop, I have another kid. While we're waiting for the coronation to begin, we'll have a look at him in a second. We have my eldest son, Aegon Blackfire, who is fucking great, pretty much. I married him to the Martell girl because the Martells declared themselves loyalists. So I wanted to reward the Martells. They have to be rewarded for their loyalty. And they get a queen on the Iron Front. My other son, Aemon, I've made prince of the, uh, technically speaking, lord, but I'm gonna, in my head, call him the prince of the Stepstones. And he'll have to, like, retake half of that. That's, like, his goal when he's older. I do want to betroth him to a Lannister. That is what I was going to do. I don't know why that's broken, the agreement, but... We're not very creative with the names for our kids, but it'll do. Only a few more days remain before I'm crowned king, before the gods and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests, both vassals and foreign dignitaries. For a lavish ceremony is rare spectacle behold, even amongst royalty. Everyone is invited, basically. Approach me tonight, personally for me, of my satisfied with how much my facility, blah, 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 coronation. He wanted to be sure that I knew how welcome he feels at my court and that he expects great things from me. Weirdly, the coronation is being held at Old Stones. We're, in our head, we're just going to say it's being held at Dragonstone because Old Stones is stupid. And eventually, I want, I want to get enough money. I'm not ending this series until we've rebuilt King's Landing, basically. Uh, I have a chance to overhear a few of them discussing the most intriguing subjects. Uh, I would join the conversation. Yes. The Lannisters control the Stormlands, but they're currently in like a... Giant war. I knew before the High Septum, the host of lords and knights, blah 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 blah, blah proclaim me king of the Andals, the Renor, the first man, lord of the seven kingdoms, and protector of the realm. Sweet. I don't have to worry about my money. I'm making a shitload of money, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I gotta sort out the marriage, so he's married to the Lannister girl. And then Dagon can be married to the Stark girl to bring the Starks back into the reign, pretty much. Starks don't exactly love me, so we'll fulfill the Pact of Ice and Fire that the Targaryens refuse to fulfill. So on behalf of the Targaryens from way back, we'll re refuse, we'll, uh, who so yeah, doing that will fulfill the Pact of Ice and Fire that the Targaryens always chickened out of. So we'll get some love from the Starks. I will marry my second son off to the Lannister girl. I don't know what's going to go down with the Stormlands, but I'm not liking the fucking power vacuum that the Lannisters are creating over Westeros here. Currently he's fighting like three different wars for... And the Westerlands are going against the, them to get that. There's nothing I can do. You prick. Yeah, the realm authority is terrible. Everyone's running amok. Alright, we'll see what happens. I want, ideally, to hand it back to the Baratheons. Because, uh... There are actually some left alive. Okay, we've managed to make quite a bit of money, but uh, I'm going to ask the Martells for a dowry for their princess. They are loyal to the realm, after all. They will give me a considerable amount of cash. Now, anyway, Aegon will marry his princess. Yeah, anyway, Aegon's married to, or betrothed to the Stark girl. Aemon is still being a bitch when it comes to the Lannister girl. She's, like, refusing to marry her. I will spend lavish amounts of money on the prince, the crown prince's wedding. My wife's pregnant again, by the way. Should have another kid popping out soon. Oop, twin kids. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> My wife pops out twin kids and I bang the Dornish princess. So, we have two sons, twins. Balon Blackfire and Balor Blackfire. Balorn and Balor. Because they're twins, they have to have similar names. That's how it works. So I now have Aegon, Aemon, Dagon, Balon, and Balor. 
It's getting very fucking confusing at this rate. But like, holy crap, we have a lot of uh, a lot of fucking black fires to put in handy. Right. Uh, the question is: Is Damon the Black Dragon any match for uh, the wiles of the Martel Princess? Eh, they're crown loyalists. I feel like shunning her would be a bad idea. So we bang the princess. That's fine. She's already pregnant. We can't get her pregnant again. <laughs> she might actually die from the difficult pregnancy. Oh, that guy. Okay. He's pissy that I banged his wife. I was rewarding her loyalty. <laughs> By being disloyal to my Baratheon wife, who I don't really care about. But has given me many sons, so it's fine. But uh, I won't piss off the Martel. It's fine if she wants to tell her husband. I don't give a shit. I can't really trust any of my Bannermen to be my regent because they're all a little tad bit... Actually, Tully's content. At the same time, I think I should just give it to my wife or something. So, Balorn, the Shield of Bloodhaven. Hmm. The Valerians have always been loyal to the throne. I'll name him as my regent. In order to get away from my really pissed off wife, we're going to uh, take a tour around, around Westeros, I think. Uh, a large choice will be more burdensome on your vassals, but will impress the common small folk. It costs a bit of money, but fuck it. It'll make a big show and tell of it all. Yeah, we'll leave the Valerians in charge of the throne, it's fine. Grace, your interest is waiting for your prayer. Da, 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 the royal progression. So, how do I do this? You must select your destination by interacting with one of your vassals and selecting visit on tour. Okay, cool. I haven't never done this before, so. Alright, so I don't really want to visit the fucking Stormlands right now because they're killing each other. Long journey, you companions, Northern Star Lords and Knights approaching High Garden. You march for the area with your huge bodyguard and oversee the execution of criminals, making sure the small folk know their king. They are wary, but the small folk welcome you. High Garden. Uh, surrounding cliffs. Blah, 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 blah. Fire's attire. With the words blood and fire. Also, banners of the large banner. Princess. Uh, Lord Paramount Willis Tyrell heartily welcomes you, and you warmly discuss the privilege of good vacation and the comfort that comes with excelling in the kingdom. Boston High Garden. I see a bitch. No. We only bang high. This person is called the visitor. Damage is caused by the wear built with the people of her on the river. Uh, this just caused a great loss of coin. <sighs> Fine. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't have the gold to give you people money. Arrive at the castle, after which she invites you to a large feast in your honour. Yep. Two courtiers of feast to dispute before you settle. The inheritance of some property in Sunspear is unclear. I find in favour of the double of the land. <laughs> because he's, he's, him liking me is important. No. I, before I leave, I get to see the birth of my first daughter. Should acknowledge her as mine. All right, we're off to see the Tullys. And then we'll see the Arons, and we'll see the Starks, and on the way back down south, we'll uh, talk to the Lannisters. The Westerlands now control the Stormlands, that's something. The fucking Lannisters are now an incredibly powerful fucking... Eh, Bell on Sworn suggest a Tyrell guy. Sure, send the invitation. He refused, you bitch. Let's go visit my cousin, since he's now in charge of the fucking Stormlands, and talk to him about how bloody powerful he is. Seriously, that's now what the fucking Westeros looks like. The Lannisters are way too strong. I'm going to have a words with my cousin about this. Nope. The Lannisters... As we leave, the Lannisters declare war on the fucking... I suppose we do give them... It's fair enough. They control Lannisport. Like, I, I give them permission to do that. That's fine. 
Nope. The colony is complete. Alright, well, at least we have a base for that now. I suppose we can go visit my son on Dragonstone. Come to an end. After visiting many of your vassals, a small folk of the realm, you know you rule the river. You return to Altstones. The regency has ended. The king is home. And Lannister's usurped Lannister's port back from the fucking morons. Don't bother me with small tourneys. I don't care about them. Alright, I now just have to wait and get as much gold as humanly possible, basically, to try and rebuild King's Landing, which probably will not happen in my lifetime. Okay, uh... My wife is banging my nephew. Apparently. Oh well. Filth denounce them publicly. She's fled all the way to the other side of the fucking world. That's gonna go well. Now we've now got a black fire off on the opposite end of the world who's probably gonna be raised hating my guts. <laughs> you know, cannon wires in my head. That's how that's gonna work. Alright, well, your lover, what's his face? We'll pay dearly for this. I divorce her, and then she comes back. I'm like, okay, no, she's now in Bravos, which makes more sense her running away into Bravos than it does her running away anywhere else. The question is, can I marry anyone for for money? That's what I was thinking. Marry one of the Lord Paramounts' kids or something. Get a dowry. Get me up to the one thousand mark, or a Blackfire. Fuck it. Technically speaking, we were still married to her, and is the it might be a bastard kid, actually. Because it might have inherited her looks. But he's, like, so far down on the line of succession that I'm like, screw it, that's fine, whatever. Yeah, I did forget to give my other kid a uh, wedding, actually. No, 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 I didn't. No, no, I didn't, because uh, I got a dowry from, from, uh, from their marriage. I remember. Yeah, I, I got the dowry, I just didn't actually do the wedding. <laughs> so I just kept the money. I punched the other one in the nose and rushed from the room. Someone tried to kill me. Who's trying to kill me? Probably the, probably the fucking Tyrells. Considering the fact that I did, like... I did, like, kind of, you know, um... Like, low-key kill one of the family members and humiliate him. Put him in a dress and shit. But he banged my wife! <laughs> That's what happens when you bang the, ki the king's wife, okay? Holy crap! Yeah. Uh, holy sh- yeah, it's- that's spread everywhere. Fuck my life. Uh, yeah, stay away from- stay away from my shit, would you? Let's stay on the mainland. Slightly worried that it'll spread to the stepstones and affect my kid. Uh, no, Dagon, I'm- I'll promise to arrange you something, but- it will be old stones once I colonize fucking King's Landing, which I can do now, actually. I think. Yeah, I can. I think. Yeah, I can. Alright, um, I won't do it immediately. I want to stockpile a bit of coin first, in case I have to spend some extra coin to keep the, uh... To keep the fucking colony going, but... And then we can start rebuilding King's Landing. Slaver's Bay ravaged by plague. When will it end? I don't know. As long as it stays away from me, I don't care. And we will colonize King's Landing. With 1,000 gold. It's currently like, shit. Because it's been... It's still a colony, so it's, it's still a colony, so I'm not getting anything out of it. But we have settled back into the Red Keep. And I'm going to give Balon and Baylor control of Sweetport Sound and Claw Isle. Dragonport and Claw Isle. And dragons have claws, so that's fine. But I'll give that to the two respective branches of House Blackfire once my kids come of age. My other wife is pregnant. Hopefully not a bastard kid like the other one was. Kind of want to host a taunt. I kind of want to do the fucking thing for them, but at the same time, I want to folk have the coin in case I need to send money to King's Landing for the colony, so I don't really want to put too much money into that. 
But those two are married, so I can actually give them their lands now, I think. Okay. Um, in order to keep Dawn in the fold, arrange a betrothal with the newly legitimized Rainies. She grew up in Dawn, and it only makes sense that she stayed down there. I don't mind. We've got the heir to the Stormlands can marry Bob Petro to my daughter. Which puts the Baratheons back into the fold. Hmm. Sweet. Uh, our time and investment is fully paid off. The Colony of the King's Landing is complete. There's a full to sufficient domain in the realm as it once was many years ago. If I can get to another thousand gold, I can create my own bank, which will be interesting. But I'm probably going to die of old age by the time I get to that. At any rate, I think for sure we've done pretty well. The Blackfires are back in King's Landing. I have a, the branch on uh, Dragonstone with the Prince. One of my sons is at Dragonport. And you've got my branch at Claw Isle. And then you've got the branch and the stepstones. Hey, my son had another kid, Eamon. Neat. And we also got the branch at a uh, fucking old stones as well. And she's pregnant, which is cool. Hopefully he has a son. Because he needs to continue his line there. And basically we have a bunch of lines spreading out. Uh, n no. You shouldn't, because you shouldn't really have that fucking high lordship, buddy. Okay, guys. At any rate, we'll uh, we'll skip ahead to anything particularly interesting that happens. I'll quickly marry off my daughter to the heir at dawn. That keeps the dawnish loyal. I'm not giving you 400 gold. Mildly piss him off with, like, eh, I'll give him 200. Fine. Also asking for money, really. Eventually, maybe I'll get enough money to open a bank. That's kind of what I wanted to do before Damon dies. I'll name it the fucking Dragon Bank or something. I can't name it the Iron Bank for the Iron Throne, because... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Aegon died of severe stress. From the fucking... The Farings basically killed my kid. Well, great. Just fucking great. <laughs> that happened. Son of a bitch. I was worrying that was going to happen. My eldest son is the first to die. He had a kid, though, from his wife, you know. Well, fuck me. Okay, uh, Damon needs to hold in there long enough for the other Damon to... <laughs> Damon the Younger to not be a fucking child king, because that's the last one we need. Christ. Alright guys, uh, this is probably going to fail, but if I can arrest this guy, then... Uh, then I can get the High Lordship of King's Landing off of him, because he shouldn't have it. I know we arrested him, okay. Oh god, he's in charge of this? He's shit. Well, yep, he's gonna go free. Fucking Lannisters. Well, now we've made a fucking... We've made a fucking piss up of that. Oh, this will be... You'll defend the realm, you'll defend the realm, you'll defend the realm. Yep, the fucking Lannisters have broken free. Cunts. The Martells are with me, because of course they are. Ever the loyalists. The Tully's with me, I will not forget this. The Reach and the Vale are controlled by children. 
Duskendale and fucking these cunts have revolted. These morons have split up their army. I just run in and annihilate them. We will not forget this Lannister tre tre treachery. The Blackfires have been betrayed again and again by the Lannisters. It just doesn't stop. Oh, that does remind me, actually. Speaking of Blackfire. Uh, I did have to cheat to do this because I couldn't find the event and it wasn't triggering. But the Golden Company disbanded when we took the Iron Throne. But we didn't get the sword. And usually when the Golden Company disbands, we get the sword because they have it in the game. So... I gave myself Blackfire, because otherwise it just nobody was ever going to get it. Alright, so we've basically won the war. My allies will mop up the rest of that. The fucking Starks are coming down the neck as we speak. I don't even have to call the Baratheons into the war. But we're going to march on Castle Rock and send the fucking Lannisters a message. You, speaking of the Lannisters, as they heard that, the fucking Castamere Lannisters, uh, broke away and joined me. I'll leave that for my allies to mop up the rest of the traitors. The veil, the veil has decided to join me. Good. This is the opportunity for everyone to realize that the fucking, you know, we've what we've won. What the hell? What the hell? Why have you imprisoned my son? I'm taking Castle Rock. Like, I'm. Really pissed at the Lannisters now. Seriously, really pissed. The Castamere Lannisters are the only one with loyalty, apparently. Craig will see where the tide's turning here. Baratheons joined the fight at the last second. Throw his entire family into the fucking pit. Now do I execute every single fucking one of his family members? <laughs> they, I, mean, I don't know, like, you had the minor revolt of this dude, and then Lannister is the only Lord Paramount in Westeros to raise up- to rise up fucking against us. I mean, the fucking... The Rikers are dead as well. I'm I'm, they're, I'm stripping them of their shit, but I need to show that this kind of action is not fucking acceptable. I need to put a hard, hard firm fucking stance so that when my son comes into his cr uh, into his crown, that this won't fucking happen again. Because I will not accept this, even though this one is my cousin. That one's joined my... Uh, the girl's joined my fucking repertoire. Which I'll marry her off to someone. We'll do that later, though. Alright. There will be no mercy for this. I might keep the... The female Lannisters alive. Potentially. Probably not, honestly. Actually, if I kill enough of them. If I kill enough of them, then she becomes the heir to the West. Which is a bad thing, because she's going to hate my guts. She already kind of does, yeah. Alright, fuck it, we're just killing all the Lannisters. There will be no mercy for this. My most deepest apologies, but there is no, uh... There's no fucking justice for this. There's no excuse for it. 
And now I'm going to go fucking do the same to the Reichlands. Alright, the Reach, my nephew, has already joined. The rest of them will honor their obligations or they'll die. I kind of want to release him and then see him do something stupid so that I can take Duskendale away from him and give it to one of my kids. Or one of my descendants. So purely just to see what he does. Release him to the wind and let him do what he wants. See what he fucking does. Let him slip up. I'm going to march back on King's Landing. We have ourselves yet another war. You rally all the troops. Lannister has basically, what, declared himself king now? Hey, again. Once again, the Lannisters of Castamere have joined forces with me. Just gotta rally up all my troops quick. <laughs> my uh, my son is already at Castle Rock, laying siege to the fuckers. Basically, all of the Westerland. Yeah, he has declared himself king. He's already been laid siege to. He's named himself King. An uncrowned, broke king surrounded by enemies. Do I risk pissing off? My vassals by taking all the rest of this crap. Meh. Fuck it. He's a traitor. I'm taking his shit. I'm taking all of his shit. I don't care if it pisses everyone off. I'm not having him have any land. He will never inherit anything. And he will die as he lived. Meaningless. And pathetic. And I will piss off more people by executing my cousin. <laughs> and then I will give it this to the, uh... To the other Lannisters of Castlemere. I probably just pissed off basically all my vassals doing that, but... Oh, well. We won't be ruling for too much longer, anyway. Sooner or later, uh... Sooner or later, the other boy will take over. Alright, uh, I'm going to figure out some deployment scenes. See who I'm marrying people off to and giving lands to now that all this is done. Now, she keeps putting him in like house arrest and he's got adulterer because he's cheating on his wife. I'm beginning to think this whole locking him up thing isn't actually her imprisoning him. It's just some really kinky shit. <laughs> anyway, uh, what I've done in my absence, and I've this, I'm still alive at 66. So I've given myself the title of the old dragon. Uh, my son has got the title of Lord of Dragonstone. Uh, of Dragonstone, which is like a shit title that will change later. But my granddaughter is married to the Lord of the Reach... My other granddaughter is married to the Lord of the Vale. This chick ain't fucking married to anyone, but she swings the other way. So she's just kind of enjoying herself, I imagine. I haven't married anyone off her yet. Uh, Damon here is married to, or betrothed to the other Stark girl. And uh, Lord Damon, uh, Damon is actually married to the other Stark girl, the oldest one. Who is... Uglier than her sister, apparently. So, Damien is getting the better end of the stick there, apparently. Not much going on, really. Um, 
I'm, I've tried to do the bank thing, but I need at least 16 stewardship, which I don't actually have. Apparently his time in the kink dungeon has gotten a tad bit too kinky, and he now wants me to fight for him in a trial by combat. Fair enough. He's also become depressed and a drunkard. I, I relate to him now, on a personal level. <laughs> a woman has caused him to become a drunkard and massively depressed. I, I relate to him. I get you, Dagon. I get you, buddy. So don't get this. I'm king. I should just be able to go, Oi, bitch. Release my fucking kid. <laughs> Who's betrothed? Ah, the heir to the north. And the, uh, the, no, there's so much Valerian blood now in the Stark's line. Like, both of their daughters are married to Blackfires. Their son and heir is married to Blackfire. And they've got Eastern Valerius blood through their mother. So there's so much fucking Dragonlord blood now in the Starks, it's not funny. Also, I've married... Um, because... This dude died. This guy was the original Lord Paramount that I gave the West. Because he was the Lord of Castamir that kept joining my, my side and fighting against his family. His son died. So his granddaughter inherited. So I have married matrimonially so that they'll, the kids will be Lannisters. I married Oris to the girl. And they love each other. So that's gone well for them. And that will put basically dragon-blooded Lannisters on the thing. And it occurs to me, I, what I did when I wiped out all those Lannisters is I wiped out all of the Lannisters who had a claim to the Iron Throne through Tywin's bullshit that he did like way back. So, yeah. Because if I go to climate, uh, claimants now, the only ones with claims are my cousin who's on the skulls, who hates my guts for like wiping out his family. Uh, my cousin who's married to my son, so that puts her out of the picture. There's some Baratheons. There's the girl in King's Landing who I'm banging. And there's some Tullys and individual families and Baratheons and stuff that have small minor claims. But otherwise, yeah, that's it's what it is. But just waiting for this jewel. Or, yeah, married. If it ever happens. Also, I managed to get enough money to colonize Summerhall, which I'm just waiting for it to become an actual colony thing. And uh, then I'll give it to my grandson, Damien. And he'll be the Prince of Summerhall. Yeah, no, love. You're never marrying anyone because I don't want your strong claim to the Iron Throne going to anybody. So he's, she's just going to be in King's Landing and die. <laughs> the Blackfires are having about as much luck with loyal women as I do in any of my relationships I've ever had. <coughs> what? I didn't say that. What? I have a bastard about to pop out of the Lannister girl. Do we give it to the bastard kid? Yeah, fuck it. We'll give it to the bastard kid. We'll give him like a... Cadet branch or something of House Blackfire. House Goldfire or House Duskfire or some shit. Goldfire. Yeah, it's a Lannister. It's a Lannister bastard, so... Assuming that it's a... It's a boy, we'll give it to the Lannister girl's kid. I want to point out. Like, say what you want about this Lannister bastard, but he has three major bloodlines. He has the Targaryen bloodline, the Blackfire bloodline, and the fucking Lannister bloodline. Okay, guys. Finally, at the age of 79, the king has died of severe stress. Ever dedicated to the gods, he was a man of unknown piety. He was. Okay, sure. All right, well, we'll see how long fucking Damon V holds the realm together. He's not exactly anything special. But uh, it left me plenty of money from father so we should be cool what we're gonna do is we'll wrap up the series here for house blackfire at least i kind of want to make i write like a whole fanfic about this and like go through the story with that but knowing me i start stories and i never finish them at any rate king damon brightfire for his wisdom and building everything i built my bank up with the dragon bank which will keep king's landing and boosted the economy you got Prince uh, Vaylive Dragonstone, who's married to the Baratheon girl. Aegon's betrothed to a Lannister cousin. And Aelor is betrothed to a Tully. All of which have the Valerian traits. You got my brother, the Lord of... Uh, or the Prince of Summerhall, I suppose. With his own kids. Uh, my sister is married to the heir to the North, for the Starks. My other sister is married to the heir to the Kingdom of the Vale. My other sister is married to the current fucking Lord of the Vale. Uh, and my older sister is not married to anyone. 
that she's the one with the... Oof. Okay, I didn't even realise her son, my nephew, died a drunkard and got disfigured and fucked the hell up. Only her daughters are left. Interesting. One of them is married to a stuck. Cool. It's hard to keep track of the Blackfire line. There's now like 67 of us. The only other thing of note, really, is the various branches of House Blackfire that exist around the place. You've got my uncle on the Stepstones. He has loads of kids. And some bastards. You've got the Blackfires of Dragonport, which used to be Sweetport. You've got the Blackfires of Claw Isle. You've got the Blackfires of Oldstones, who have their own kids, who's almost my, my cousin. Then you've got the Blackfires of Summerhall. There's fucking Blackfires everywhere. It's ridiculous. And lastly, we have the Goldfire House, which is my uncle who's married to my aunt, who's basically a bastard, and the whole bastard for a bastard thing. But, uh, yeah, I gave him his own cadet branch for House Goldfire. There's a certain point in the CK2 campaign where you become so powerful that it's just boring. I prefer playing as somebody that's, like, smaller. So, yeah. What we'll do is we'll wrap this series up here. There might be a continuation with the Goldfire playthrough. There might not be. We'll see what happens. But, uh, I thank you for watching. I'm sorry if you feel it's a bit cut short, but this was only supposed to be a small series. So, that's all for now. Soul out. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click on that stupid little notification bell thing that doesn't really need to be there, but YouTube insists upon. In order to keep up to date with my videos, as if subscribing didn't already mean that you wanted that. What? I'm not salty. I love you, Google. Please don't demonetize me. For the love of God, send me money. YouTube are going to demonetize me and I haven't eaten in a week.